Nick Kel Kellogg of the Fish Differ Magazine here. I actually had an interesting call this morning. One of my readers called me up and he said, you know, I've got a, I've got a lot of Dodgers. Um, I laid out quite a bit of money for them. I've, I've got them in a compartment box and they're getting all scratched up. What should I do? Well, I don't really have a, a, a simple solution for that. There are some, you know, Dodger storage boxes you can buy that have little plastic slip covers and things like that. Honestly, though, I don't do any of that. This is how I store my Dodgers. These are these are my small trout and kokanee Dodgers here. I've got a bunch of different ones from Vance and Seps and Shasta Tackle and whatnot. And you can see they're all just kind of thrown in here by size, style, and color. I've kind of got them sorted. Do they get scratched up? Yeah, they get scratched up. Um, I go out with a lot of super talented guides and anglers, and I can tell you, the fish don't care. Now we care, we pay seven, eight bucks a piece for these things and we want them to look nice. But uh, a lot of the guides I fish with, honestly, their Dodgers look like they had them in a washing machine with rocks in there. They're all scarred up and the paint's chipped and stuff like that. Bottom line is, they put out vibration, they put out flash, they draw in the fish, the fish bite. The fish don't know what a Dodger is supposed to look like and they don't know the difference between a scratched up Dodger or a clean Dodger or a brand new Dodger out of the package. So the simple answer, don't worry about it. Put your Dodgers in a compartment box, tie them on the end of your line and worry about catching fish because the fish don't care if your Dodgers are scratched or not. I hope that helps.